What's up YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Jao Reacts and today we have a real, real exciting video. Today we have Jay-Z, Excuse Me Miss featuring Pharrell. Now the reason that I'm excited for this is because I reacted to a Pharrell and Jay-Z song like what, a week, two weeks ago. And I remember in that video, I really, really liked that song. And I asked y'all, could y'all recommend me some more songs from this era with that kind of sound to them? And y'all came through. Y'all recommended me a bunch, a bunch of songs and I will get to all those, I promise. But I chose to go with this one first just because I loved their chemistry. I love that dynamic so much. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk too long. I got the lyrics put up, of course, as always. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Over. You can't roll it to this one. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta light it. You gotta puff it on this one. You can't even drink Cristal on this one. You gotta drink Cristal. <laughs> Try some red wine. No That's some classic Jake. This is what it called in sex. And I beat it. It's nasty already. Can I get my girl man on for one second? I see some ladies tonight. This should be hanging. Mm. Little Biggie sample right there, um, Big Papa, right? That's my song, by the way. I know him and Big were pretty close, if I'm not mistaken. I like that right there. Let's get back to it. <laughs> okay, Jay singing a little bit. I like that. You already know what it's hitting for. I got whatever outside, and you know what I'm sitting on. 50 50 venture with them S dots kicking off. Armadale popping now, only bringing them all. Only thing missing is a missus. You ain't even got to do the dishes. Got two dishwashers, got one mm. shirt, one maid. All I need is a part in the play space with the cards up. All oh, trust. Who else you gonna run? I love that. I'm gonna touch on it later. It's the rock and rare made back outside got rocks in air PJ's on the runway young got air I don't land at an airport I call it the clear boy therefore I don't want to hear more back and forth about who's hot as young holler mm. yeah, he ate that verse I'm gonna let the chorus right out Damn, she's fine. I, I, I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it because I'm gonna end up talking too much over the song and I don't wanna do that. Um, this is fire. This is fire. I shouldn't even have to say that. But for a few big reasons in particular. So number one, uh, I'll, I'll just touch on the easy stuff. Pharrell is killing this chorus. I love his falsetto so much. I said the same thing when I reacted to the front. And that was the last song I reacted to, which was him and Jay-Z. Um, I, I just love it. I love his voice and I love the beat too. I'm assuming that he produced it or maybe the Neptunes, which is him and Chad Hugo. Whoever made the beat though, beat is fire. Just the whole sound, it sounds fire. I love the vibe of it i love the tempo real funky real smooth and jay killed this verse i want to read off just a couple lines real quick before we get back into it he said only thing misses is a missus you ain't even got to do the dishes got two dishwashers got one chef one maid all i need is a partner i love that and i feel like this is the era of jay when he was still you know he was still flexing he was still stunting on everybody see now it, it, we got billionaire jay-z he's married to beyonce he's got kids all the music he makes now it's more like informal Informative, more woke and that's not a bad thing at all I mean you know I loved 444 that's one of my favorite albums from Jay but he definitely is a different person now uh, and I would be lying if I said I didn't like this era from him it's just very very fun again it sounds good what's not to like let's get back to it <laughs> I know that look damn she's bad She look kind of like Sierra a little bit. Like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't like him. He one night some. Now she don't like him. She never met him. Groovy's try to take advantage of him. He won't let him. <laughs> so he treats him like he treats him better them than me. She don't agree with him. She's mad at that. He's not having that. So those opposites attract like magnets. She sees more than a Benz wagon. That was hard. Along the flashy, bragging on the song. She gets a glimpse of Sean and she likes that. He too weighs up, so she writes back. Smiley mm. faces after all of her phrases. Either she the one on court in the matrix. 
cook, let the fish burn. Red or green pill, you live and you learn. Come on. I think I even like that better than the first. I like how he was. Hold on, I like how he was telling a story there. As much as it's a fun song, I'm sure this was played in clubs a lot. And as much as his style on this is more like punchlines, saying some little slit lines, just being real smooth, he is still telling a story, uh, in particular with the second verse at least. And the first verse, he was more talking his talk, talking himself up. The second verse, he was talking about a little story with him and this girl that he's feeling. You know, her friends clearly aren't feeling him, but she don't care and she's getting with him regardless. You know, again, it's fun. The feeling of this, just like the way I'm feeling, listen, to this is real adventurous it just make you want to like go out real late at night with your friends and just have a good time man i got the helicopter and the plane with the name damn <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's gonna turn him down now. Love, let's go half on the sun. I know my past ain't one. You can easily get past, but that chapter is done. But I'm done reading for now. Remember, space, face up. You could believe it for now. But mind, you got it for real, for serious, bro. I'm about to give you all the keys and security codes. About to show you where the cheese that you know I ain't playing. But before I jump out the window, what's your name? Uh. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It was like a fantasy, got it, got it. I thought it was like he did all that and he didn't know her name, okay. I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm dumb. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I thought it was like, you know, like a one night stand thing. He, he like flew her out or something. And then after all that, he's like, I don't even know your name. Clearly, it's more like a fantasy. He sees this fine girl. Let me know who the girl, the woman is, I should say, uh, in that elevator. He's having this whole fantasy. I'm trying to marry this girl, yada, yada, whoopty, whoopty, whoop. But before all that, what's your name, right? This was dope. This was dope. Real interesting concept. Jay really did his thing on this. I, I liked how it was almost a journey through each of these three verses. Um, it's like they're all tied into each other. They weren't standalone. Uh, Jay-Z is an amazing storyteller, an amazing writer. I think that should go without saying. I think he's like one of the best MCs of all time. I think, you know, most people could say that. And Pharrell did his thing on this too. Even though he was just only on the chorus, the chorus was so, so good. It's so catchy. Again, it sounds good. I mean, I, I've been saying that a lot. It sounds good. It sounds good. But I mean, that's what it comes down to. It's a very, very catchy sounding song. And I just feel like this dynamic is unstoppable. I've only reacted to two songs, but it, on the last video I reacted to Frontin', there was a bunch of song recommendations with Jay-Z and Pharrell. And I promise I will check out all of those because this is too good. It's too good. Anyways, that is it for the video. If y'all liked it, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment in your requests down below. I will get to them as soon as I can. And y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in and peace.